Charles Manson was born November 12, 1934, to a neglectful mother and no father figure. His biological father, Colin Scott, was never involved in his upbringing. His mother, Kathleen Maddox, was in his life, but was very neglectful. She was an alcoholic and a prostitute who didn't truly care for Manson. Manson got his name after Kathleen married a man by the same name. Eventually, Kathleen got arrested and went to jail for 10 years. During this time, Manson went to live with his aunt and uncle until she was released. In his early years, Manson dealt with a lot of mistreatment and abuse from his mother Kathleen from the parts of his childhood she was in. An example of this would be when she sold him to a waitress for a mere pitcher of beer. His uncle had to search for him and get him to bring him back home. He was also said to have been sexually assaulted and beaten while he was in school. Because he was frequently moving from place to place with his mother, Manson was described as a quiet loner growing up. As he got older, he was able to form his relationships with people while forming his cult through manipulation. Early on, Manson showed signs of problems. At just nine years old, Manson set his school on fire with other tamer petty crimes like theft and truancy all around 1943. Eventually, Manson would run away from the correctional institution school he was put in. Manson spent half of the first 32 years of his life behind bars. He was arrested for petty larceny, armed robbery, burglary, and auto theft. When he was released from prison, he moved to San Francisco in 1967 and began forming his religious cult that they called The Family. Charles Manson was married two times. His first wife was Rosaline Jean Willis, a teenage hospital waitress. They were married in January 1955 between Manson's prison sentences. His second wife, Leona Ray Stevens, was believed to have been sex trafficked and married to Manson. Their marriage was rumored to be a legal strategy to get Manson out of some trouble he had with the law. Not much is known about Stevens. Charles Manson would go on to have three sons. His eldest child, Charles Manson Jr., was born in 1956 after Manson married Rosaline Jean Willis. Manson was in jail during Charles Jr.'s birth for violating his probation act and committing grand theft auto and driving the stolen car across state lines. Charles Luther Manson was Manson's second child and was born to Manson and Leona Ray Stevens, or as he called her, Candy. Valentine Michael Manson is Manson's third child, and he was born in 1968. Valentine's mother, Mary Bruner, is said to be the first member of Manson's family. During his psychological evaluations, Manson was diagnosed with a wide variety of personality disorders, like antisocial and paranoia. He was also diagnosed as a psychopath and was later found to be schizophrenic. After his diagnosis of antisocial personality disorder, he was allowed to receive treatment for his mental health disorders. Although nature did have a big effect on how he became an infamous cult leader, nurture seemed to have had a bigger impact. Manson had been severely abused at school and went through psychological trauma in dealing with his mother. His crimes might have been prevented if he received treatment or proper care early on but he had acted out on committing crimes and was always in prison or some form of correction in the early years of his life. Manson committed his first crime in 1948 at the age of 14 when he robbed a store for food. Later on in life, when he formed his cult, their victims were tortured in ways like stabbing, beating, and eventually shooting. The group targeted people Charles Manson knew or was acquainted with. Manson committed crimes from 1958 to 1969, but the cult murders only took place on two nights, August 8th and 9th, 1969 in Los Angeles. There were nine confirmed murders, but speculation has it that there were up to 35. There were no documents of the cult ever taking souvenirs of the murders, as the murders were by a cult and in close date proximity. There was also no signature ever developed by the cult. There was no information about the criminal profile. While being arrested, Manson was seen smiling and talking to people. His followers were seen singing and laughing as they were being taken away. He was found capable of withstanding a trial, and Manson refused to plead insanity. Manson was charged with first-degree murder and conspiracy. He was sentenced to life in prison. Eventually, Manson passed away from natural causes at 83 after almost 50 years into his life sentence. The crime scenes seemed to be mixed because there were multiple people doing the killings. Manson himself didn't kill anyone, but he told his followers to do things a certain way. He told them in gruesome detail how to kill the victims. All the murders were done in the same area, inside the victim's house. 
Manson seemed to be a power and control killer. He worked angles trying to get things the way he wanted. He wanted to start a race war, that way through the killings he could have gained the power that he wanted.